Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk a bit about the stuff that is frustrating for me personally in 2042. Of course I'm not going to talk about stuff like broken mouse input or really bad map design, but more of like the gameplay things or things they have implemented into the game that are pretty easy to take out and would overall make a better experience. But before I start I first have to do a disclaimer. All the things I'm talking about are things I personally think only trim down the gameplay and make the gameplay worse so meaning they are not fun for the person playing and also not fun if you're on the receiving end of these gameplay mechanics. I also want to preface this by saying that my opinion here is not in terms of making the game super balanced, competitive like other shooters like Rainbow Six Siege or Apex Legends. I know Battlefield is a sandbox, I know Battlefield needs to be fun in certain areas and maybe needs to have things that are not properly balanced. So this isn't going to be a video on oh the guns need to be like this and the character does need to be like this so everything is viable and competitive no these are just points that from my point of view are just unfun to play as or to play against or maybe these are certain mechanics in the game that overall degrade the experience you have while playing also i will just say this shortly but i'm not a vehicle player so all the stuff that's unfun for vehicles like a row hack for example or a list missile i won't cover these things since i'm not a vehicle player so i can't really give an objective opinion on these things since i'm not experiencing them. I would start with a thing I think a lot of people hate especially when they start playing redacted and redacted only like I'm doing and that's the dozer shield. Of course yes dozer is not hard to outplay especially since I just unlocked the Year of the Dragon Super 500 skin and with this gun as a backup it's super easy to just jump over a dozer and one pump him but I still think dozer shields are right shields as they are currently implemented in 2042 are not fun. As a dozer player yourself not only do you see less when you whip out the shield but your turning speed is also reduced and you can get shot in the feet very easily making the shield more of a you go crouch you pick the shield and you sit in a corner to like look down a hallway and see what's happening but it's also frustrating for the enemy team since they can't shoot you. Sometimes the dozer shield hitbox is just broken. You clearly jump next to him and he still hits you even though he isn't even looking at you. And also something that frustrates me a bit and happened to me a lot when I'm like peeking a, peeking a corner and I just start shooting and then a dozer of my team is running in front of me and all my bullets go into a shield. This is super frustrating so for the next battlefield game please remove riot shields. Thank you. The next thing I really hate is the Sundance nade who at the is thought it was a good idea to have a nade that not only recharges but you can throw it it explodes once into four smaller things that also explode it's like super hard to get away from the nade the nade does a lot of damage for how often it explodes and it's rechargeable like if you play redacted you know the sundance spam is crazy you see like one sundance coming through your way then you see another and another and once every sunday through a nade the first one has a nade back and is just chucking it at you again it's not fun something that i personally find frustrating and is not really a gameplay element but more an audio element is the blasco jammer sound every time you get close into the blasco jammer range from an enemy you have like the static noise and honestly i wish dice would just implement an option to turn it off i know it's there to signal you that you are now in jammer range if you don't like look at your mini map and it's scrambled but i think the sound is just obnoxious and it honestly it really hurts my ears i might be a bit more sensitive on my ears than other people but i personally wish i could just turn off the sound honestly i think it should be just an accessibility options like you can make the flashbangs go from flashing you with a white screen to a black screen i think the same should be available for the blasco jammer and since we are already talking about sounds please give me the option to mute my character. I like to play McKay but every time he opens his mouth I wish I would just not play him. I really hate it when McKay is just shouting stupid shit like hell yeah and stuff like this like give me the options to just mute specialist voice lines and to turn off the jammer sound. Now as for back to specialist abilities that really piss me off and I hope we never see again. Boris turret. This thing is completely useless. It does basically nothing since as a Boris player you basically never get a kill with it. You don't deal any damage. The only thing this turret is good at is to like warn you when there are enemies flanking you. But usually the turret isn't even reacting fast enough. If somebody like jumps around the corner and knives the turret, you won't hear it. And if you're on the receiving end of the turret, it's also not fun. The turret doesn't have a lot of DPS, but you still feel it. And what's also frustrating is when you win a 1v1 against the boss with like 10 or 20 HP and then the turret just two shots you. So I hope DICE never implements an automatic turret again. Now as for some things that make the game feel a bit sluggish and or 
also make your decision making worse. First of all, we have that animations take ages to complete. I don't know why Dice thought it would be nice to make those animations so long, but I always feel like I'm getting handicapped by the game and I try to do a few things fast after each other. You feel this especially when you want to play Assault and with the mad pen. It often feels like your character takes like three years to just pop out the stim, pop it in and throw it away and pick up your gun. Like in most situations, I press the stim button. I wait for what feels like two seconds, then switch back to my primary because somebody is pushing me. And oh well, the stim didn't even start stimming me, so I have to do it all over again. As for what's really badly implemented with the situational awareness, since Battlefield 2042 has 3D spotting again, a lot of plans go AWOL. When you're spotted and you don't know that you're spotted. In Battlefield 5, there was this cool feature on your minimap where if you were spotted, it literally told you you are spotted. In Battlefield 2042, it doesn't. Why does? Why don't you tell me when I'm spotted? The difference in decisions you have to make when you're spotted versus when you're not spotted are so huge and it's not even something where people could say, oh, having this helps a better player stomp even harder on noobs. Like if you're new to Battlefield and you are spotted by like attacks or something and you try to flank and you get killed and you're like why did these people know i was coming from behind they i was slow walking they couldn't hear me are they hacking or something like not knowing that you are spotted makes the game literally worse for every player now as for some short fire things outside of the gameplay first of all no server browser every time i currently try to play redacted and it's a bit later i'm getting into lobbies with like five player and like 500 ais if i had a server browser i could literally just search up a full lobby or a half full lobby of redacted and fill up the server why is there no server browser also when i want to play breakthrough there are certain maps i definitely won't play since they are really bad if I had a server browser, I could just choose the maps I want and disregard the maps I don't like. Instead, I either have to always quit out of the lobby or cancel search and search again, making the game really unfun. Then another thing that I have a problem with is that your character skins sometimes randomly unequip and go back to default. Why is that? DICE wants us to spend your, our money on the game. They want us to buy skins. We buy the skins, we like the skins, we equip them and the game is just like, aha, I unequipped it for you. Good luck. Now you have to die to equip it again. Like, I think this shouldn't happen, especially with how expensive some skins are. Like, some skins are like 13, 14, 15 bucks. That's more than the game costs. It's on sale, and then the game is just randomly unequipping, unequipping my skins. And the last thing the game needs is a streamer mode. I personally not streaming, but I might in the future. But I hear a lot from other streamers that without a streamer mode, they get so easily targeted in the game. And I think, like, guys, come on. Streamers and YouTubers are the only people that really keep the game alive. You should at least give them like the most basic things i mean even really old games like rainbow six siege introduced the streamer modes I've a few seasons back and the game is from 2015 why can't you do it when the game is like from 2021 but yeah those were a few of the things implemented in the game that are really frustrating for me as an infantry player some of those are accessibility options they could probably add really easily some are fundamental gameplay mechanics that they can't take out like those are shield you can't take it out but at least hope dice make some notes on these and make sure those are not in the next game i know there are other things that are frustrating in the game like shotguns for example especially when you play redacted or the pike wall hack yeah i should also mention pike wall hack i think it's just stupid played pike for the first time you can get so many clips and smokes if you know what they are but i might make a video on pike to go into more detail here but yeah as i said stuff like shotguns for example even though it feels frustrating dying to them i still think shotguns are at a point where they are so much fun that you shouldn't remove them from the next battlefield game maybe tweak them a little bit but yeah those were the things i'm a bit frustrated with in battlefield 2042 but I would also like to hear your opinion. Are there things that are frustrating for you in Battlefield 2042? Are there things that I should definitely remove in the next game so the gameplay experience can be better for everybody? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing for future content. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.